Oh guys, Sean Fogarty. Huge, huge lunchtime game. Manchester Derby, Manchester United versus Manchester City. Half past 12 kickoff at Old Trafford. Huge game. I think it's it's huge for both sides. It's huge for United to United to keep up with the top four. And it's huge for City to keep to keep up with, with Chelsea, who are currently five points clear. And obviously two points behind Liverpool. So I am nervous. Like because a derby is like a fixture that anything can happen, and I think this derby is actually very underrated. It's, it's better than the North London derby. It's better than the El Clasico. I I, I struggle to see a, a derby that's out there in the football world that's better than this one because it's both fans are so passionate about it, and then and then and it, and it ruins you, and it ruins your week when 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 the result doesn't go your way. So I think that's this is the best derby in world football. L line up for City. I I'm not uh, the only thing I I think I I heard that Walker might not be fit, which is my is my worry because because they've got counter attacking pace and then without Walker we're going to struggle to see how we're going to catch up with with their fast pacey attackers if we let them in behind. But I think Walker's out for us and I think Pogba and Rafael Varane is out for them because Pogba's out with a suspension. Um, I think Varane is out for a, the knock he picked in the midweek game for them against Af Atalanta. City don't tend. We haven't got a good record recently against United in the in the Premier League because obviously we beat them the last two years in the Carabao Cup semi final, but our most of our derby victories have come at Old Trafford because we. Te I think they turn up at the Etihad and we turn up at Old Trafford because I think there's more pressure. I think actually in this game there's more pressure in City because. And and there's less pressure on United because because sorry if you can hear background noise beeping, turn them to shut up. And uh, I I I think both sides come and, 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 and think both sides come and think that winning the away fixture and beating your rivals in their own backyard is what what they go for every year. It's not actually beating United is to beat us at Etihad and ours is to beat. United at Old Trafford, but I, if if I could have it my way, I'd I'd, I'd try and beat them the double because the City did put out a documentary on, on City's YouTube channel. Go and watch that. It's about when we had Ericsson as our manager on, and the, and the year that we did the double over them. And go and watch that. It's actually a really good watch. I watched that yesterday. Pep said this isn't the biggest game of the season. I I, I absolutely hundred percent disagree because because it's like a game when you lose, you like it ruins your whole week and then you ruins your whole week. And also, we're in the same city, so it's not like the Liverpool game because the Liverpool game we're not in the same city as as each other. And obviously, United fans class their derby as the Liverpool game, but uh, but I actually think they care about us and what they think. But they but they but when they when you'd ask them that, that we mattered, they'd, they'd always say no. But 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 they talk about some United fans talk about us more than they talk about themselves, and and they like like like. Like years ago, it was City's day of their life when United lost, and and nowadays it's, it's United's day of 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 their lives when when City lose. That's what that's how, that's what happened, and that's what's changed since City have come the club that they become. Uh, onto lineups, I'm gonna say Diaz and Stones obviously are gonna start because of Laporte got his suspension and he can't play because of the Palace red card, and it will be. Zinchenko on the left and Cancelo on the right. My worry with Cancelo is with the long balls is, is, is he's not very good at defending the long balls. And Zinchenko, my worry is that he hasn't got enough pace and he and he's not that good at defending at the back post. Um, United. My things that I'm worried about is because yes, they've like lost the sides like Young Boys, Aston Villa, and got a draw against Everton and lost comfortably by Liverpool five nil. My worry is because Oli tends to do. The better than Pep in the Manchester derbies. Well, unless it's been the League Cup match, you'd have to say that Oli's done actually quite well against Pep, despite Pep having more domestic trophies to his CV. Um, match prediction. I would say it it either ends one nil to eat the side by one goal or end in a one or draw. That's how I can see it. I don't think it will be like a game that will have loads of goals because, like, uh, both sides are not going to want to lose it. So that might bring some fear in, into their 
into each other's games and and like but if it if it came to I, I, I hate to say it I think if it was coming to a draw I think both sides would settle for the draw. If I was going for my prediction, I'm gonna I'm gonna obviously back City because I'm 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 a City fan. I'm not exactly gonna come on here and say that it will be a United win. I'm gonna say City one, United nil, and I think Bernardo Silva will get the winner. And the reason I think that because the form that he's in at the moment, I just think if we do score, it will be him because obviously he 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 went on a great run and got through like six or or seven Liverpool players and played it to Foden, which would which would be probably the assist of the season if it if it went to Foden, if it if I mean if uh, Foden put it away, and he just looked like the Bernardo of eighteen nineteen. He won a sack title and on his own, he did, and he was so important in in the end parts of last season in us getting to the final of the Champions League and he was also crucial in the 21 straight winning streak and I think if we need someone to like go completely on Ronaldo because he like goes out of games and then just get in in like two minutes he ends up with, with having two balls two goals next to his name on on the scoreboard obviously I have one more video coming out tonight is is who is the next Man City to br Man City player from the youth team to break into the first team? Because other than Foden, we haven't really seen that many like players that have come into the first team. That's my criticism with Pep because if he played youth a bit more, like like giving like players like Liam Delap, Cole Palmer, James McAtee, um, George Wilson, Esbrown, and Betty more chances, then I think he'd be classed as even a better manager than he already is. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Get me to 90 subscribers. That's the next target. We're only five away from that. Um, and we're trying to hit 100 subscribers before the end of 2021. And thank you guys for your support. It's going to be a really nervy 90 minutes of football. Hopefully after the game, I've got a massive smile on my face. That has been a City victory. But I don't know. Really hope so. Come on, the Blues!